Hey guys, Candy Andy here, and today we're talking about the new ballistics update. I'm really just kind of list the pros and cons of this update and really what can be fixed. And no, this isn't like a normal video. I'm not going to do it for every update, just this one because it seems to be so big and it's really splitting the community. So first up, we're just kind of talk about bullet drop. And if you've ever seen me on Twitter, right before this update, I was like, no, no bullet drop. But bullet drop is not that bad. I mean, it's manageable. Now, what's really pissing me off, like after I started playing today, is scope swaying. Like, if you've seen it, I, I don't know. Like, I'll show a clip of it right now just to see how ridiculous this is. So you saw the scope swaying, right? Yeah. Like, who who's that bad at aiming a gun? Like, who? What? You, 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 you're that bad that you can't aim your gun for shit. Like... It's not hard to aim a gun, especially looking down a scope, like, it's just pretty easy. Like, you don't sway around like that. It's just, it, this blows my mind. Like, I feel like that needs to be tweaked, because it kind of just circles around a little bit. It's not, like, going way off. Like, you're, like, you just move your ass a little bit and it's going whoop. That, that is, it is annoying. Like, it's really bothering me. And then when you try and force it back, like, away from where it's trying to sway, it kind of glitches out, too. And then that's like, nope, I'm done. Later. Have a nice day. Now, really the three main reasons why people were kind of fighting over this update in a little bit is... I'll just list the three reasons now. There is more skill, needs to be like so-and-so game, and realism. I'm going to tackle all three topics with mostly bullet drop and scope swaying. Not too much about like bullet travel time, because that really doesn't have an effect. I mean, it has a slight effect, but it hasn't really, like, changed dramatically. Now, first up is you need more skill. Now, I totally agree with this. Bullet drop totally adds more skill. I feel like it, bullet drop needs to be tweaked to be a little less than what it is, because the bullet drops about, like, roughly measurement, like, three feet in, like, two sec one to two seconds. It seems kind of unrealistic for, like, a sniper, which is made not to do that. It's kind of my opinion on that one. But overall, more skill, it has added a lot more skill, um, recently went on PvP server, and, PvP server, pardon me, and nobody knows what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> like, even bad players win, like, I don't know, this one kid, like, no, who's really bad at the game, managed to win, and I'm like, dude, how'd you do that? And he's like, I don't freaking know, I just kinda aimed up. And I'm like, alright, props to you, kid. Um, but yeah, this is kinda crazy, I mean crazy update bullet drop i mean again not so bad i mean it's manageable probably could be tweaked a little bit to be a little less a little more realistic so i'm not the bullet isn't dropping at like a ridiculous rate i mean they're bullets they're made not to do that i mean they're not made to like drop kind of like a ball they're not really made to do that but that's kind of just again my opinion moving on we have people who say it needs to be like so and so game like it needs to be like battlefield 4 it needs to be like daisy and it needs to be like Far Cry 4. And I'm like, why? Why does it need to be? Why can't Unturned be Unturned? Like, if you want it to be like Far Cry 4, go play Far Cry 4. If you want it to be like DayZ, go play DayZ. Don't try and force other games into a game that you have right now. Unturned is its own game, and you shouldn't need to say, it needs to be like this, it needs to be like that. It's kind of like saying, I'm going off with COD here, I'm gonna get so much hate for this, but. Battlefield 4 player comes in on like a COD community forum or whatever and says, Hey, I think COD needs to be like Battlefield 4. And everybody's like, why? I don't know, just because I like Battlefield 4. Well, if you like Battlefield 4, just go play Battlefield 4. Don't try and bring two games and mash them together that so this game is like that game you like. It doesn't make sense. It's a stupid argument and you shouldn't like say, Unturn needs to be like DayZ. If Unturn needs to be like DayZ, go play DayZ. That's my opinion. I know it costs money and Unturned is free, but don't drag the whole community into a whole, like, fight over it needs to be like DayZ. That's my opinion. Again, people will probably refute that. And the next one is it needs to be more realistic. And <laughs> this one's pretty funny. I mean, Unturned enough as it is isn't too realistic. I mean, like, look-wise, absolutely not realistic whatsoever. Props to Nelson, just don't. It's a good game, just doesn't look realistic. 
just stating a fact. And then there are physics in the game. Like, physics in the game make Newton go, what? What is this? Like, there's bullet drop, which gravity affects bullets. Yet, when you blow up a zombie, it flies into the other town, and you can build a sky base and shit doesn't happen, doesn't fall, or whatever. So, physics and realism is just not even a good argument for this game. The only really good argument for this uh, ballistics update is skill, and that's it. You shouldn't say it needs to be like this game, and you shouldn't say it needs to be more realistic. It's a stupid argument, totally not even worth fighting over. And another thing that's kind of making me feel a little bad after this update is this update's really splitting the community up. Like, Reddit is just blowing up and people are bashing each other like, Oh, you like uh, the bullet drop? Go hang yourself. Or, oh my god, you are uh, you hate bullet drop? Oh my god, you're a piece of cancer. There's stuff like that. And I'm like, oh my god, this update has literally split the community up. Like, people are fighting against other people and then, like, friends are splitting up. And, like, I have two Steam friends who were like, oh, they were like, we were all in like, a big group. And after this bullet drop, they, they, like, stopped talking to each other and their group split up. And now it's terrible. And that's just, again, more opinions. But, I mean, this is a really, like, sketchy update. And sketchy as in, like, it's really kind of messing everything up. It's just kind of messing the law of the game up, the law of the community. It's kind of wacky, dude. It really just blows my mind. And again, you know, again, these are opinions, and also now that I think about it, I'm probably gonna get a shit ton of hate for this. It's like, oh, Andy, you like, oh my god, you you, you, you don't like uh, scopes playing? Oh my god, dude, you're such, like, you're so toxic, unsub. And that's probably the crap I'm gonna get from people. And, you know, whatever, that's what happens. Sorry, I voiced my opinion, I voiced the pros and cons of this update, I voiced what it's doing to the community. Deal with it. Okay? Just, just deal with it. I I'm sorry. That's just what's gonna happen. You shouldn't have to, like, hate me over voicing pros and cons. Okay? And, yeah. So, that pretty much wraps everything up. See you guys later. Peace.